Hi, my name is Dev Harish of Lodestar Sensors. As you know, Lodestar Sensors is a leader in the area of capacitive sensing and measurement. And we have an award-winning line of uh, force measurement products based on the capacitive sensing principle. One of the products that you're familiar with is our iLoad Mini Sensor. This is a sensor with a frequency output and which using a DQ1000 interface device can be used to connect directly with your PC via the USB interface or go wirelessly using a Zigbee interface device or even get an analog 0 to 5 volt output. This is a very popular sensor and can be used in both the compression mode as well as the tensile force mode. Now many customers asked us for a pressure sensor for especially for low pressure sensing applications like in the medical device industry, HVAC industry and so forth. So we have taken the basic capacitive sensing platform that we built and have adapted it to build a really unique, easy to use pressure sensor. So basically we took our mini force sensor and have put up a little package around it, packaged in a different way so that you can apply a tube over it and actually put you know, pipe pressure through this tube. So this particular one is, is, a, is a, a pressure measurement device that can measure the pressure applied with respect to the atmospheric pressure. So this sensor, just like the Mini, has a frequency output which is proportional to the applied pressure. And then using our DQ1000 interface, it takes the frequency input, calibrates the pressure and actually applies a digitizing formula and all that stuff and then converts it to a digital protocol but in this case it's going into a USB port of a PC. On our computer we have for force measurements a program called load view which can also be adapted to measure pressures or call it pressure view. So I'll just take a sensor here and show you using our uh, you know load view software that you know this pressure sensor actually can measure pressure even of a human breath. So I'm going to blow into it and you'll see that the signal goes up and down and you even get a negative pressure when I, when I um, suck on the air instead of pushing into it. So here goes. So you can see that as I blow in and out and take breaths, you can see that the pressure is changing. Now if I, instead of blowing into it, if I try to create a little vacuum, suction vacuum on it, then you'll see that the pressure goes negative on our, on our uh, level view, lower view software. See how it went down instead of going up? Now I'm going to go back and apply positive pressure to show the contrast. So you can see that we have a very, very simple, easy to use, elegant pressure measurement solution here. You can take the sensor, mount it into any kind of configuration, and then based on what your application needs are, if you want analog output, you can use our DQ1000A interface device, which gives you a zero to five volt output proportional to the applied pressure. Or you can use our DQ1000U to get a USB output, and go to a PC where you can collect the data, log, log the data, plot the data, and even use our alarm and alerting features where if the pressure falls below a certain level, you can actually have an email or an SMS message sent out to uh, people who are on the list of uh, people that need to be informed. So you can build a very comprehensive, easy to use pressure measurement solution based on the capacitive sensing technique. My name is Div Harish. Please call us, email us, contact us if you would like to use this solution for your particular application. Thank you very much.